I'm going to put this shower tent up here, but I want it to swing out so I can still use the canopy. Welcome to Mud, Mods and Beers. Let's get into this episode. So we're off to Birdsville in three weeks. Uh, we can't take the camper trailer, which is just right behind us because it's still broken and it wouldn't be safe to travel in. So we're gonna try and maybe take two cars, but we're gonna live out of this one. So my idea is that this will swing out somehow. And I think I'll have the hot water service sitting here somewhere, maybe eventually on a drawer. I've got the tap there, or we can plug in because the jerry can will be here. So we can put a, um, a pump into the jerry can too if we want to get water that way. So a few ideas, but I've got a few things. I went to Bunnings and I got just like a gate T-hinge and I'm thinking I'll go up here and we'll weld a bit of, of a support on the back of this. Let's see what happens. So hopefully now that'll fit there. It'll have to be quite low, but this will still open. Hopefully, we'll track that first, but I reckon I need to be, yeah, just about there. And then I've got about five, five mil difference. So let's try that and see. So, so far, there is a bit of play in that hinge, but it's not, like, I don't think it's going anywhere. When it's there, it's there. I think what we need maybe is a, another one of these gas straps there, and it, it'll, it'll just steady it up a bit. I think when it closes, though, I do think that'll open up easily. Yeah, that'll be fine. Right, so progress so far, I think I'm pretty happy with that because when it's out, it's not gonna, we don't need a lot of strength. I can even, as Andy said, just get a camping pole and put it at the end here to keep it strong, upright. But when it goes in and it clips in there, I reckon that'll be solid as. So it wouldn't be a normal Sunday if I didn't have to go to Bunnings and get something. So we're off to Bunnings to get a magnetic pull latch, I reckon. And then we can just pull that out and out it comes and click back in again. That'll be good. All right, off the Bunnings. See you soon. Just got back from Bunnings. We got a magnetic gate latch. So let's rip this open and put it on. Oh, that's going to fit beautifully. Both the holes line up. Look at that. That doesn't happen often. One arm one way, one the other. And that's, that'll just do that. <laughs> Bore you with the last 15 minutes of trying to find a bolt, but I anyway, find one. Oh, it's gonna work. So let's have a look. Is that going to work? Ooh. So I also have this gas strap that I'm gonna use here because I think what I can do is purpose this to be probably that way on this side. So what needs to happen, this needs to go right in to the end. Very happy with that. And that's gonna stay out nicely now too. Bring it in. Clears everything into the latch. Okay, so that's it. Look, I'm gonna have to go and get a new hinge. That's just crap. It's a real dodgy, cheap hinge. I'll go and get a strong one this week. Um, but I've put the pull let latches back on, Put got the gas strut in. That's sensational. When it closes up, it's nice and locked. It's pretty solid now. That uh, gas strut really has solidified it all up and I think it'll get even better 
when we put a bigger, stronger hinge on it. But in the meantime, I'm really happy with that. Look, it's, it is what it says when we get to the campsite. It's just like opening that out. It stays out because of the gas strut. Fold the tent out. The hot water service will be in here. Hook it onto the water or put it into the jerry can. Job's done. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Considering subscribing and I will see you on the next one.